an accelerating jet stream-like river of molten iron has been discovered under Alaska and Siberia, almost as hot as the surface of the sun. This is what scientists are telling us. A fast-flowing river of molten iron has been found surging under Alaska and Siberia, some 1,864 miles below the surface, that's 3,000 kilometers, and it appears to be speeding up as well. This colossal jet stream, which is estimated to be about 260 miles and nearly as hot as the surface of the sun, has tripled in speed in less than two decades, and is now headed towards Europe, of all places. We know more about the sun than Earth's core, one of the team said, Chris Findlay, from the Technical University of Denmark. We know more of the sun about the sun than the Earth. The discovery of this jet is an exciting step in learning more about our planet's inner workings. Finley and his team dedicated the jet stream, detected the jet stream while analyzing data from the European Space Agency ESA trio of satellites called SWARM, the SWARM satellites. They were launched in 2013 to measure fluctuations in Earth's magnetic field. And these satellites allow the researchers to create a kind of X-ray of the planet's inner structure revealing vast components that we did not even know existed before. The European Space Agency swarm satellites are providing our sharpest X-ray image yet of the core, said lead researcher Phil Livermore from the University of Leeds in England. He said, we've not only seen this jet stream clearly for the first time, but we understand why it is there. Earth's magnetic field is thought to be generated by the activity going on deep inside the planet's core. The core itself is a solid lump, two-thirds the size of our moon, and composed mainly of iron. With a temperature of about 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5,400 degrees Celsius, it's almost as hot as the surface of the sun, which is an intense 5,000 505 degrees Celsius, or 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit. Surrounding the solid inner core is Earth's outer core, a 1,242-mile layer, that's 2,000 kilometers thick layer, made primarily of liquid iron and nickel. Differences in temperature, pressure, and composition in this layer create movements and whirlpools in the liquid metal, and together with Earth's spin, they generate electric currents which in turn produce magnetic fields. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. When the researchers examine satellite data from the outer core area, in the Northern Hemisphere, they found strange lobes of magnetic flux beneath Alaska and Siberia. But the lobes were not stuck in those positions. They're moving in the direction of the European continent, and the team says they're being pushed along by a jet stream of molten iron. Because their motion could originate only from the physical movement of molten iron, the lobes serve as markers, allowing the researchers to track the flow of iron. Andy Coughlin reports for the New Scientists. The team found that this jet stream has accelerated in speed since the year 2000. It's now pushing the lobes under Alaska and Siberia at a rate three times faster than typical outer core speeds and hundreds of thousands of times faster than the speed of the Earth's tectonic plates. So what is going on here? It's going hundreds of thousands of times faster than the speed of the Earth's tectonic plates. Finley told BBC News, this jet of liquid iron is moving at about 50 kilometers every single year. That's 30 miles. It's moving 30 miles a year. Can you imagine? That might not sound like a lot to you on Earth's surface, but you have to remember this is very dense liquid metal and it takes a huge amount of energy to move this thing around. And that's probably the fastest motion we have anywhere within the solid Earth. Finley says, at this stage, it's not clear why the jet stream is accelerating, 
but the researchers suspect it's a natural part of Earth's inner cycle that's been going on for billions of years. If we can figure out where this in the cycle we are, are right now, we could predict how Earth's magnetic field will change over time, including how it might reverse in the coming centuries, a reversal of the Earth's magnetic field. As New Scientist explains, since Earth's magnetic field seems to have been weakening at a rate of about 5% every 100 years, the magnetic field is expected to flip, at which point the magnetic north and south poles will trade places. Further surprises are likely, ESA Swarm Mission Manager Rune Flaubergager said in a press statement. He said the magnetic field is forever changing, and this could even make the jet stream switch direction. This was uh, the study published in Nature Geoscience by Science Alert. This is Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. So we know Earth's magnetic field behaving mysteriously, North Pole shifting towards Siberia rapidly at 30 miles a year. Now the rate of shift seems to be increasing rapidly. We could be in for some serious consequences if this should happen too quickly for us to adapt and adjust. According to RT, the sunbended reality, Earth's magnetic field, the basis for modern global navigation systems, is constantly in some state of flux, but it now seems to be going haywire, pushing the North Pole closer to Siberia, and no one's sure why. The field changes as the molten metal surrounding the Earth's solid iron core churn and flow, creating electric currents and corresponding magnetic fields, and as a result, the magnetic poles tend to shift slightly as a matter of course. But researchers don't know what's causing the magnetic field to now move so quickly. The North Magnetic Pole sped across the international date line at a rate of 55 kilometers a year, that's about over 30 miles an hour, more than three times as fast as it moved before the mid-1990s. Now located in the Eastern Hemisphere, it's moving away from Canada and approaching Siberia. Scientists think a high-speed jet of liquid iron under Canada could be responsible for the pole's movements, weakening the magnetic field below and allowing Siberia to draw over the pole, nature reports. The location of the North Magnetic Pole appears to be governed by two large-scale patches of magnetic field, one beneath Canada and one beneath Siberia, University of Leeds geomagnetist Phil Livermore told American Geophysical Union meeting. He said the Siberian patch is winning the competition. In general, the World Magnetic Model, WMM, is updated at five-year intervals to ensure modern navigation keeps up with the changes in Earth's magnetic field. It was due to be reconfigured in 2020, but was out of whack in 2018. What a more urgent update was, uh, that was, uh, update was needed. Researchers at the British Geological Survey and the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, have been working to correct this WMM using three years of recent data, including a 2016 pulse that threw their last model's accuracy off. The scientists were due to release the, later, uh, the latest update if the U.S. government had not shut down, hamstringing NOAA's operations. Now the release has been postponed to the end of uh, this year. The team hopes this model will last. We'll see. If it's moving at 30 miles a year, it's not going to last. This is Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.